Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was great. It was fun. It's a great game, Jay. It really is. <laughs> Naughty nurses to the list, huh?
No, he he gave up. Um, yeah, he, uh, he just gave up because he just lost his lily and he was at four life. Um, so he's playing 10 rack or eight rack, so... It can, this can be a hard matchup, actually. Um, oh, no. No, I definitely won that game. So, he'll, he'll for sure take Bitter Blossom here this time. No, I guess he won't. He says, I don't care about... Endless Bitter Blossom tokens. So. Whenever opponent discards a card, you may put a quest counter. At the end of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, the quest counter... That's two or more quests. So we'll... We will... I don't think it matters, but... We're putting the EE on one for sure. Okay. Yeah, we're not worried about that. We're only worried about if he kicks it. If he kicks it, it's really good. Um, if he doesn't, then it doesn't matter. Ah, for former Murfolk player too. I I also own the fish in paper. Um, so it's uh, wonderful. This uh, this stream is literally for you if you played fairies for ten years. This is this is the you are the target audience. So. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Um.
Um, probably should block it. Um, Cause I'll do six. So I am kind of worried about this, but so yep, and I shouldn't lose life. So. I really want this down to start pumping me full of cards. So this this is probably his the worst card for him because it just okay standard bridge is fine. We got one ones. Ooh. Um. I actually want the value for drawing cards. So we can't rack or any play anything like that. Are you uh, are you talking about fairies, like mono blue fairies, Grixis fairies, and then yeah, um, there's I mean mono blue fairies has always been a thing, you know, so. And it's still good. And actually, it's pretty good against Izzet right now. Um, Shredder. Because you can just bounce Merc Tides if you're playing like Vapor Snags or something. Um, yeah, sure. Kill my fairy. Um, so, Grixis. I have an idea for Grixis. Um, fairies. But I don't know... Expressive iteration is the only reason I'm considering Grixis fairies, and I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know how much it's it's a ponder effect, but it's a ponder for more mana, and especially another red mana at that. It's not just you know blue colorless. It's pretty color demanding overall. Uh, what are you wanting back? That? Yeah. You don't get that. He should know better. We'll just put the bridge back in his hand. Because it feels bad there. Not that it really does much, but it makes him slow, slows him downturn. From being able to do anything else of significance. Um, yeah, blue-black is obvious. Um, is that... Destroy our creatures you don't control. Okay. Uh, you're about to find out why this... Bantu's Last Reckoning is just not that good. This extra turn he gives me is...
Like, because he doesn't untap, so... Um... I'm gonna speed up the clock a little bit, I guess. So, I do like this card, it's just all creatures, lands you control, don't on top the next turn. Yeah. Because I can do five with the borrower. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and do this. And then protection, so. But he can't thought seize. There's a lot of things he can't do right now. Pox, we really don't care about this. We just let it happen. now uh yes drown the lock is not a bad magic card This is good enough. Uh, Bolt and Rakdos Charm? Yeah. Um, yeah, getting rid of their graveyard with Rakdos Charm is good. Um, yeah, and then Bolt's obvious. White's good. Uh, Drown the Lock? I think so. It's just... I don't like it early game. Um, I think one in the list could work out. Um... It would be a nice little flex spot, for sure. Um, so, or or cut a uh, cut a counter spell for a drown a lock, and it's just to have the flexibility of hitting like killing a creature, especially late game, you know. So, because late game you can hit Merc Tides, so. But I'm also running four ley lines, so I would pretty much have to side it out anytime I'm running the ley lines, which probably wouldn't be much of a problem. Um, I 
A waste not. So he's playing this. Okay, well. Um. I got a couple ways to deal with this, so. Mostly just counter magic and being able to. Um, sure. Probably gonna ambush Viper here. I don't see a reason why not to. It takes him down a land. A pretty big land, actually. Well, I can't Kato without a attacker. I think I need to wait and counter. Because I don't want him to waste not and then dump his hand. Because he would draw a bunch of cards. Um, he's probably saving the big, the big boy. So I should probably just counter this. So, with the intention to getting discarding two okay yeah nothing else for me that's good um yeah since we drew another one we'll just do the same thing Our deck really helped us out here, so. Yeah, I thought he would do that last turn. The fact he didn't is such a really surprising. So, I just don't want to be discarding cards so, with this ability. I'm going to value this over Bitter Blossom. So, right at the moment. Yeah, that <laughs> counter spell, man. It's it's great. So. Um, uh, discard a card. So, what do I want to discard? The borrower? I think the brutality goes out. We'll discard that. You can draw a card. Because creature cards, he gets a zombie. So. So we'll see what we're working with here. Oh, brain! <laughs> You're asking for a brainstorm, or are you asking for a brainstorm for uh, counter spells mana cost? Is that what you're asking for? I mean, you gotta, you got J Jason Mind Sculptor. You know, it's not like you don't have anything. So, and this is the fun part of the deck, man. The Shinobi. And just grab, grab whatever he's playing. So, it's not necessarily awesome, but we'll see. Oh yes, that's nice. And we'll play it with the kicker, because we don't have to worry about it. 
Oh, do I have to pay for a kicker? Uh, apparently I have to pay for the kicker. It's funny that I could do that, though. Yeah, we'll cast that. Then we'll, uh... We'll drain him. And we'll draw. So... Yeah, I'm I'm glad Counterspell came. Um, it does help things. It's not too. If people were there was a debate whether it was too powerful or not, and I think it's found a good it's found a good place. So destroy all creatures. Oh, that sucks. No. Oh, well. I'll just have to make another dude and start going. Because I really, I can't start discarding cards with this. I'm going to have to look back. I'm going to have to look back at the first game. Because I thought I won the first game. I thought he just conceded. But you might have stumbled upon. I'll have to watch the replay when I stop streaming. Look at the, look at the VOD. So, which this game will probably go up on YouTube. So definitely subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already. I can. So there's my socials. Um, but yeah, the YouTube channel is in there. So. I have 12 or 13 different matchups in there. So. With, uh, with all different archetypes. So. Also, Discord's available. So, if you want to hang out and talk to me outside of streaming. So, yeah, kill them in two turns, and then I could really draw a bunch of cards here. I could draw two cards. Ah, cool. I'm glad. Because that's, uh... That's basically that group of people, you know, that have been in there forever, for years. Same with me. Those people are really who I'm targeting as an audience. <laughs> 